for Doomhammer. Your soul shall be mine. A good hand. Got two of the big threats. A bad matchup. Hopefully he doesn't have multiple of the answers. Do I want a coin twilight trick? I think I will in an attempt to kill the mana tide totem. And if he's got her shock then boo. Pretty much just boo. Yep. Means Mountain Giant will be played on 5. Hellfire probably on 4. Maybe on 4, depending on whether or not you can deal with this uh, Drakey here. Ugh. Not the best Hellfire, but it is the Hellfire. This is the Hope He Doesn't Have Hex play. Leroy, which is not too bad for this stage of the game, but it's kind of annoying nonetheless. I mean, when I look at this hand, even though we might be among losing Leroy, Leroy is like the. Um, in terms of cards I would have wanted to lose, this would be the least one, the second least, third least. It's like about middle of the road on what I would have wanted to lose. Ah, the one one. Alright. Welcome Jagdrox to Valley 10. Well, he had both answers, so I guess I'm just gonna lose. It happens. Hmm, <laughs> spot all these hardships. This might still work out. That's a good card to draw. Or Froggy. Welcome Peter Tosh to Valley Town. I'm not being pressured too much and I have I wonder. a Drake out and I can tap each turn with a relatively high life total. But this is a traditionally bad matchup since the Shaman has such hard counters to your guys. They're shocking the Hex. Siphon the soul of that, play an Ancient. Or would I rather tap? No, I'd rather play the Ancient. If I can be silenced and do something. So I tried laddering with Token Druid. Yeah, we've done so in the past. It's a good solid deck. Nothing exceptional though. It just seems solid all around. And solid is unfortunately not something that gets you into the top 16. We for vengeance. But solid is good enough to get you to legend for sure. That was a bit of a risky play to make. The good news is he is running low on cards, whereas I have the handlock. Continue to grow my errand. <laughs> play Defender just to get some stuff, sure. Eh, good enough. I have another Taunter. Welcome Syndrome to Valley Town. Why do I have Delay on when I'm not Legend? It's because everyone that I'm playing is Legend. None. When you're um, playing early in the season. Like right now, there's probably less than 100 Legends. 
quick estimation. Guestimation. If only he hadn't removed that. Snickers or Twix? I, wonder. I don't really like nuts in my candy. But Twix is not bad. It's good every once in a while. Hmm. What to do? Always little time. My shield for Argon! Hmm. Wow, they purposely not attack for six. Interesting. Yeah, I haven't played any Molten Giants yet. Makes sense. Two, six, eight. But might as well do this first. Since I do draw a card. Hopefully I have Mortal Coil on here. Hopefully I draw it. If I tap, I'll go down to ten, which is in burst range. But, eh, I'll just play one of these. It's getting mm, getting a bit dodgy either way. I will play the I will be able to play the Molten Giant at least, so this should be okay. Ah, fire Ellie. It's gonna be tough to deal with. My free tap. Shields up. And I should have tapped since this is not enough to finish him off. And I can't fear the loss in life. Because I would gladly trade two life for a card at this point, yeah. Oh boy, legendary. Although I can't get much use out of it, it's still pretty good. This unfortunately doesn't boost to any useful number. Only four cards left in this deck. It better be good ones. I believe one of the cards is Twilight Drake. The knowledge of the others are fairly spotty though. I haven't cast Shadow Flame yet. I might run out of cards. My shield for Argus! Shadow Flame is a really good card. Oh, there it is. Going to need to tap, though it pushes me quicker into fatigue. Still, I'm going to need some cards. And well, here we go, final stretch. If there's a mountain giant here, or a twilight drake, it's going to be rather bad, but that'd be life. I'm 
That one's good. I don't have the time to I go for you. this one now. Into the breach. Ugh. Crap, that card almost guarantees my loss. Okay, so, wow, well, crap. The way I see it, he's got a 50-50 chance of winning. He uses his Doom Hammer to hit both if it's a taunt at him. Oh no! Oh no. <sighs> Is there anything I could have done? Not really. Uh, I mean, throughout that game, if I had gotten my free tap off, I probably would have won. So, something as small as that would have made the difference in this game. But there were probably other things in the middle. Oh, what if I had also... What if I used the giant to kill the... Instead of... Hmm. Alright, new game. That's pretty exciting, nonetheless. Uther versus Valera. Watch your back. I will fight with honor. It looks like a two, three, four curve, but it really isn't. I will probably play the Acolyte of Pain on the three. The pleasure though. is mine. Well met. I might play a pyromancer round two, given that I have two. Mm. Do you like to play with fire? I think that move is debatable. I certainly wouldn't make it if I didn't have the second pyro in my hand. Acolyte of Pain seems like it might grab the dagger only, but getting rid of the dagger is pretty nice. Might do worse than that. Shieldmaster versus Hammer. I mean, Hammer is perfect on a 3 3. Shieldmaster is also perfect, though. I will likely coin out the Sunwalker next time. Yes, the Tazdingo is bad. I kind of wanted to save the coin for the Wild Pyromancer, because Pyro Coin Consecration does destroy a concealed gadget sand. And I think that is kind of a big deal. If only I had a better play. Like, I could Aldor guy, perhaps. Mistakes were made. Hmm. Was that a mistake? Oh! Does Dingo. I wonder if they replace cards assuming I'm Agro Paladin. No. Maybe. I got the best no, there it is. Alright, so really hoping to... Equality is the only answer. If I had the coin, it'd be doable. I think keeping the coin may have possibly been good, though his way of dealing with, uh, with Sunwalker wasn't great. If only I had. No, no that one. Duty. 
Dealing with that concealed auctioneer is so huge. I probably should have saved the coin. It's just, what else would I play on turn 5? If only I had a true slower on that turn. Come on, equality. Follow the rule. Only one solution barring equality. For justice. Could die on this turn. This guy's so I think Blizzard should do something with the Rogue card sprint because the Paladin card lay on hands is 10 times better. The Paladin card lay on hands is not 10 times better. They're actually fairly comparable cards. Is the coin just another trigger for Pyro in this deck? Well, it's also one mana. <laughs> So by clearing this, I will remove 4 damage from the table, whereas Lay on Hands deals mm. 8, so this is a better deal yet. Plus I would like to draw into equality. Uh, most likely in this game I am doomed, but... Maybe bottom decks, Leroy. Maybe I miscount the damage he can deal. Maybe, maybe. Um, do I want to hit the 3-3? Three, three? No. Hitting the 3-3 gains me 2 health, basically. Actually, hitting him is better. It's gonna have a lot of damage next turn. And I have bottom decked equality, unfortunately. Getting it here would be still nice. <clears throat> okay, so it's going to be Consecration, Consecration, Holy Light. Now, I could also use a Pyro. Pyro and two spells. That saves the Consecration and allows me to utilize another Let two mana. Think. The question is, is Consecration better or worse than Pyromancer? Hmm. I think it might be worse. Or, or it might be better. It is a 3-2. No. Consecration is better. So I go Pyromancer, Consecration, Holy Light, 2, 6, 8, and then I play Knife Juggler. Huh, that actually has some oh, benefits because it might kill Leroy Jenkins. And if he has to spend 2 damage on it, or 3 damage with it, that's fine too. Since every single point of damage might kill me at this point. Maybe he makes a mistake and he, uh, Leroy's into the knife juggler. That'd be lovely. The good news is I'm at 25, which might be outside of his range of burst. He's played one Cold Blood, and I haven't really kept track of everything else. In my opinion, Paladin or Priest has the main underdog of high level Hearthstone. Probably Priest. But with Amaz showing some Priest success and Clinto showing Paladin success, my, uh, position on the quality of those decks is actually pretty good. Okay. I think every class is viable, which is fantastic. Okay. What I do know is he's got Leroy and two Shadow Steps in there. And he likely has at least four damage. Leroy, Shadow Step, Shadow Step, Eviscerate, or Cold Blood, or something. So that's uh, 16, or 12, 18, 22 in hand. Oh! The Defender of Argus. That's my savior. He's gotta have used all the spell damage. I would like to taunt two things. That seems like it's gonna be Knife Juggler Guy and Defender of Argus. One card left in his deck. I wonder. Put this apple on your head. Reporting for duty. My seal 
Not hitting that Thanos is a big deal. But I think I should still be good. I might lose because I failed the 20. I failed the 75% though. But I think I'm still good. Because I know three of the cards out of these five. If I were paying closer attention, I'd know the other two as well. Going to be because my struggle didn't hit. No, no me. Well, actually, it could be one damage short. He has to be one damage short. Okay. No zero mana spell, which does one damage. <sighs> Unfortunately, I don't really have anything here. And gain two health. Hopefully, that's enough. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twelve. I don't have lethal, unfortunately. For justice! Hopefully that two life gain is enough. Oh boy. Woo! Let the hunt begin. I will fight with honor. Welcome to Valley Town, how are you? Um, I don't think any of these cards are that great. True silver, kinda passable. The healing is actually pretty nice against Hunter, like if it's super face. Okay. Oh man, I never imagined a world where I would keep Holy Light in my opening hand. since I have a guy. It's just a trigger that I imagine. I should still trigger it. Alright, do I go Senjin? Yes I, I don't do. Have enough mana. Hard to say whether he's super face just from that move. Kind of implies he is because he is. Well, then again, that does not imply that. Seems like a control slash trap type hunter then, if he's running Tostinga, and certainly if he's running Drake. the Elven Archer, which would have been great on turn 5. Champion plus Archer. Alright, peacekeeping this seems really good. What else? I, wonder. I may want to play Pyromancer just as a 3-2. Follow the rules. And do I want to play Elven Archer? Probably not. Hmm. But I think Gromish is a must in warrior control, usually. Hit that. It's not gonna 
be good. For justice. Bad boy light. Do I want to play it now? Ten? Yes. Because next turn is Tyrion for it, right? I'll never tell. Whoa. Let the pain speak to me. The edginess is through the roof here. Oh my gosh. It's incredible. Okay. Put your faith in the light. For justice. That's amazing. One shot, one kill. Okay, I cannot afford to attack a Tyrion Fordring into a possible freezing trap. If I roll need, okay, the consecration ain't bad, mostly because then I can double consecration. Actually, Kodo may have been better there. Eat a 2-2. Two, two. Keeps a 2-2 two, two on the board. Oh my gosh. What's going on? This is real life. For justice! Oh man, if that was... Okay, so that's 100% freezing trap. Reporting for duty. That was a pretty dangerous attack, though. But I mean, I had to do something kind of gutsy there. Whoa, what's going on in this deck? Oh my gosh, it's so edgy! Thank goodness. Won the 50-50. So it's still not looking great. I'm actually currently unfavored to win. Hmm. <sighs> Alright, unfortunately I'm taking that four damage. I'm taking two, so if he has two damage, I lose. For justice. I could play only one minion and then not lose the two damage. Or not lose to unleash the hounds. I guess that's my best chance then. Since it would appear that that would be lethal. To eliminate one possible card from lethaling me is kind of useful. Although, the chances he runs um, Unleash the Hounds actually is very high, I suppose, since I didn't see any beast synergy. Okay. The turn where I consecrated instead of coded was where I got led astray. <laughs> 